I will be the first person to tell you that building production AI voice agents is extremely hard. I'm tired of this lie being sold that anyone can build and sell an agent for thousands of dollars as a complete beginner. While there are so many people out there telling you it's simple, I'm going to tell you the truth. Building an AI voice agent that actually works in the real world requires deep technical expertise, weeks, if not months of testing and a complexity that most people are not prepared for. Today, I'm going to break down exactly why these systems are so difficult to build, why a lot of these videos you see online are complete and what it actually takes if you want to succeed in this space. Okay, so let's first break down the lie that is being sold a little bit more. You're scrolling through LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, wherever it is, and you see these sort of titles. How to build a 10K AI voice agent. How to build an AI voice agent that can handle everything. How to build an AI voice agent that generates you sales. And these headlines work. They get clicks, they get views, but they lack the nuance of the real world. I'm not trying to say that these things are necessarily completely not true. I mean, it is definitely possible to make 10,000 from an AI voice agent system. I mean, I've done it, but the problem is the incentives of these videos are misaligned. The incentive isn't to actually show you how to build a production AI voice agent system and how they sold it for, you know, the number they have in their title. Instead, it is how can I attract as much views for my videos or from my videos and how can I convert as much of that traffic into a paid community? This is the classic story of if you want to get rich in a gold rush, do not dig for gold. Instead, sell the shovels. And that's exactly what a lot of these videos are doing. Now, I do want to mention that the AI voice agent community is actually a lot better than the AI agent slash AI automation niche when it comes to, you know, this type of paid community thing where, you know, for the AI agent side of things, 90% of the videos you see online, the way that these people make their money is through their community and not actually building or selling anything they talk about. I'm also not trying to say that I'm the only person that is doing it the right way, in my opinion. I think there are many people in the AI voice agent space that actually build, sell these real systems and teach you all the lessons they learn from their journey. And in my opinion, that is doing it the right way. The problem is, is it's extremely easy to build a demo and showcase it on your video and use that as a credential that you can build these systems. When in reality, building a production agent that lives in a real dental clinic or a real hotel is very, very difficult. And I can tell you from experience, none of these videos are showing you how to do that. So let's break down why AI voice agents are so hard. The first reason is latency. When you're having a conversation, every millisecond counts. And I've said this in so many of my videos so many times. If there's a delay of over one and a half seconds, the conversation will feel robotic and awkward. And a lot of people don't actually understand all the components that affect latency. So here they are. The speech to text model slash the transcription, the turn taking model, the vector database retrieval, the large language model, the text to speech model, and the transport and telephony. If all of these components aren't optimized, you're looking at a two to three second latency easily. Now, orchestration platforms like BAPI and Retail make a lot of these decisions for you in order to reduce the issues that you would face as someone with inexperience and that is helpful, but not understanding the core components is a fault of your own. Okay, so the second challenge is AI context engineering. If you dump all of your context into an LLM in one single system prompt, that is your business rules and information, your conversational rules and logic, it might handle the first message fine. But after a three to four minute conversation, when you're 10, 20, 30 turns deep, that's where all that context starts to rot and your AI begins making mistakes. There's actually a research paper from a company called Chroma that proves this. They tested 18 different AI models and found that even on simple tasks, as the input length increases, the performance degrades consistently. A lot of people think that context has been solved for a while now um, because of things like needle in a haystack, where you know they put a answer to a question in a big haystack of context and AIs are pretty good at finding that needle, but real applications of AI like agents demand a ton more processing and reasoning over much more ambiguous information. The real skill is building systems that only pass the necessary information to the AI 
at the right time. You need to be able to dynamically manage what context the AI has access to throughout the conversation. Or if you don't do this and you have a big system prompt, you're going to see the accuracy of your AI plummet especially further into the conversation. By the way, I'm planning on making an updated video around context engineering, as well as showing some data from tests and evals I ran on how context affects the accuracy of an agent in the voice AI uh, space or realm of evals. Okay, so the third challenge is messy calls. Real customers are calling from outdoors with wind and cars driving past, restaurants with people talking in the background, their living room with the TV on. Your AI needs to be able to handle all of these scenarios and accents and mumbling and random interruptions. The technical complexity of making this work reliably is extremely, extremely difficult. Okay, so the fourth and final challenge, in my opinion, is edge case handling and recovery. What happens when your AI doesn't understand what was said? What happens when the customer says something completely unexpected? What happens when the call randomly disconnects? Does the AI call back? Will the AI remember the call that just happened 10 seconds ago? Again, all of these issues require a ton of work and understanding. A lot of people just don't think about how they are going to handle things when things go wrong. And trust me, things will go wrong. So how can we actually succeed in voice AI? I think the first big thing is understanding the raw first principles of this technology. If you try to download a template without any prior understanding of the first principles and you try to sell it and actually implement it in the real world, you will end up failing and pissing off a lot of people. No business is the same and that's why a prompt for one dental clinic might not work for the next. And you need to be able to correctly adapt it based on the needs of the clinic or whatever you're implementing it for. And you can only do this if you understand the first principles. That's why in so many of my videos, I don't actually share the system prompt. Instead, I try to teach those first principles around the system so that you can learn from the ground up on how to actually implement this technology. Okay, so the second biggest thing, in my opinion, to succeed is quality assurance and monitoring. You need continuous monitoring, cool success metrics, performance analytics, A-B testing, regular analysis of where and how the calls are failing. All of this data about your calls allows you to rapidly improve where your agent is flawed and failing. You have to understand there is a 100% chance that your agent will be deficient somewhere. But that is completely okay if you have a system in place that allows you to catch issues and fix them within minutes. Okay, so the third thing to succeed is starting small. Don't try to take on everything that a call involves. Maybe at first, just have the AI voice agent handle booking appointments and answering questions from your RAG database. But for canceling, rescheduling, emergencies, etc., you just transfer to a human or take a message. This problem is a much easier problem to solve. Master that and then expand your agent. The last thing is getting professional help. Someone needs to have invested the time and the resources to learn proper development, proper testing, and properly on how to deploy and the infrastructure of the voice agent. So you can be the one that invests all your time and resources in learning that, or you can pay a professional who has already dedicated their time and resources to figuring those things out. The voice AI space is exploding right now, and there is real money to be made here. But only if you approach it the right way. Stop buying this anyone can do it narrative. If you want to succeed in this space, you need to understand what you're actually building. You need to respect the complexity and you need to invest the time and the resources to do it right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.